great to be at Tuzdo's political conference here in Manchester. Um, great atmosphere uh, and serious debate about the key policies and uh, very impressed with our activist commitment to going out and campaigning for a Labour victory on May the 7th. The great opportunity for the union is to mobilise what we have in an abundance which is union representatives committed to try and secure a Labour victory. The Conservatives can outspend Labour by three to one. That's significant financial benefit for them, but our position is having people on the ground mobilised, knocking on the doorsteps as we did in Blackpool. That's what matters, because then you can talk about the issues face to face. Billboards are one thing, there's nothing better than that individual contact with people. It's really important with the election being so close, the opinion pollsters have said very clearly this could go either way. What we have to do is make sure that our policies are explained in full. It's difficult at the minute because the press don't seem to be too occupied with the detail of what we stand for. But when you knock on the doorstep and you say what it means about the minimum wage or the health service or your child's education or the big issue around care and people understand it. So the challenge is, is to get the message out there, to make sure that the policy and the campaign lands and that that comes through conversations. It won't come through leaflets. That has one benefit, I mean you can get into the doorstep, but it's that face-to-face -face conversation about policy that matters. I think the kind of character assassination of Ed Miliband and, and the Labour politicians is with one purpose only, is to distract away from policy. First of all, their own abysmal term in office by trying to position it about an individual who they want to create in the mind of the public is someone who isn't fit to govern. The key message for us though, and Ed said this very clearly in his video at this conference, is about the policy issues. So we've got to, in a sense, be aware of that kind of character assassination, but not be obsessed by it. Our job is to take the policies out, get beyond the propaganda, the kind of attempt to make somebody not appear to be prime ministerial. That's what they'll do. The reality is, is what he stands for, what are the policies he believes in, and that's coming over more and more, from my point of view, for our members here. You know, it's a really fair point to say that there's a kind of um, apathy towards politicians at the moment, uh, and there's a responsibility of the politicians here to be clear about what they stand for and the message. Some, somebody said to me, you know, people aren't really interested in politics, young people aren't interested in politics. That is not true. What they want to know is what politicians stand for. And when you explain it, and when politicians explain clearly, in language that's very easy to explain what it means in policy terms, people engage with politics. We have a conference here with a couple of hundred people here who have given up the time to come and listen to politicians, but not only listen, but to advise politicians about what matters for them. So it's a kind of, it's, it's a kind of apathy, that's, apathy that's crept in. Our job is to break that kind of apathetic approach by talking about policy in the detail. And I think we've had a good start here at this weekend. I mean, I've been involved in, in the union for some years. I've been around politics for some years and I've witnessed Labour in opposition more than in government to a great extent, or well, the history book show us that. My fear is, is that the cuts that we've seen will be the beginning of not only deeper cuts, but real ideological attacks on the trade union movement, for instance. I mean, the six million trade unionists who volunteer to join a union, they've already hinted, well not hinted, they've actually said they're going to remove checkoff in the public sector, particularly for one union. They're also making it clear that trade unions, they talk about trade unions as though unions are not a force for good. And it's this ideological attack on us that will become more uh, prevalent if they win the election. But even if it's not about the trade unions per se, it's the attack on our members' terms and conditions, the living standards. The National Health Service, of which a Labour government should be proud of its introduction, is under attack. The evidence is there. The idea of five years of a Tory government making this ideological cha uh, challenge on working people I just hope I don't witness it. I hope my members don't witness it and uh, it would be a disaster for us, I think. And this is why this election is so important that we get out there and we fight for every vote. It really is high stakes. This is not about where well, we get a government with just a different approach. This is a government that they win. If the Tories win, will be ideologically driven to remove and take away anything and particularly attack the values that we stand for. So it's a crucial election, this one.